Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the full moon that's occurring on April 23rd or 24th, depending on where you live in the world. We're going to take a look at each life path number and how these energies could influence your uh, path. So before we get into that, of course, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized forecast or reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I would love to work with you. All right, let's take a look at each life path number. Life path 22-4. So you are going to be working with the energy of the 33. So 303. This can be a highly, highly creative period of time. So again, full moon, you know, you'll probably feel this energy pretty strongly on the day, but it will continue to kind of, you know, influence for, I would say, a week to two weeks after that full moon. Uh, so I would say this can be a highly creative period of highly creative time. This is like creating a clean slate for you to create something. So if there's been something that's felt muddled or like, you know, you just can't kind of get it off the ground. It's just not making sense. It's like you might be asked to sort of start over or do things differently in some in some way, but you're kind of giving the you're being given full creative um autonomy over whatever this is and so again it's like a clean slate of, you know you got the canvas you've got all the colors that you're working with what are you going to create that's that kind of energy and it doesn't have to be about like a project it can be about a relationship right like truly like and when I say creating a relationship that of course means like being open to you know, socializing and uh, networking and collaboration and meeting new people and putting yourself out there and overcoming self-doubt and all of the things. So somewhere in your life, you're getting a clean slate to create the life of your dreams. Let's put it that way. Uh, this can definitely be a time for celebration where things just seem to be, you know, working out and going in your favor that it's almost like, um, the wheel of fortune in um tarot where it's like the the table the tables are shifting in your favor at this time and so there's something to celebrate and i would say you know a lot of times with 22 fours it's like because it's such a solution focused energy and such an ambitious and driven energy typically um you know a lot of times the successes will come in and we're like woohoo and then we move on to the next thing okay now to the next thing to the next thing and we don't really give ourselves time to celebrate those those things that we should be celebrating. And so I would say slow down a little bit and really acknowledge when those those um, rewards and gratification come in for you and see it for what it is. You put in the effort, you have created whatever this is and you are worthy of the recognition and celebrating. So definitely celebrate the big wins that will likely be coming your way around this energy. Also romance can be coming in. Um, and I would say, you know, play as well and feeling fulfilled in your home and your work environment. So opportunities to play, to, you know, tap into your inner child a little bit more, not be so maybe work focused, really finding that healthy balance between home and work life will bring you so much fulfillment at this time and it's creating healthier habits moving forward. So I would say that this energy will give you a dose of what it feels like to really be able to not only immerse yourself in your work or whatever brings you happiness in a creative aspect, but also immerse yourself in the things that just bring you joy for the sake of bringing you joy and recognizing that you can have both. <laughs> you can have both. Um, but yeah, I would say also uh, romance is on the horizon here for some of you, uh, but you have to put yourself out there. So that's one thing here that I would say, you know, not for in a forced way, obviously, but but just, you know, get out there, socialize, put yourself out there, mingle, um, do some things that you haven't that you've wanted to do, but you haven't given yourself permission to do. So I don't know, like if you wanted to, to make pottery, I don't know, um, then go to a pottery class. You never know who you're going to meet and you never know the experience you're going to have. And so it's very possible under this energy that you might meet someone who is like, you know, a long-term 
you know, in your life long term, uh, can be a really beautiful connection, really, really beautiful. So I love this for you all. Absolutely love this for you all. The one thing I would say is just don't trip yourself up where you're too rigid in um, your thoughts or your actions, right? Because that can trip you up here because the three energy is very big and very boisterous and not so systematic. It's much more about creativity and creativity can be messy. And so with this uh, energy to get the most out of it, you will likely have to get your hands a little dirty, right? You'll have to like, it might involve some finger painting or something, right? And so you're going to probably have to do things outside of the way you would traditionally do them to get better results or different results. And so And you'll likely find that other people can help you to do that. So yeah, this is just a fun time to open yourself up, think outside the box, do things a little bit differently with other people as well. And what can come from that can be incredibly powerful and beautiful. So yeah, I kind of love this for you all. Definitely if there's some kind of creative project you're thinking about launching or starting to work on or something like that, very supported under this energy to do that. The the light is shining on you. This full moon is fully illuminating you. (laughs) So go for it. I hope it's a great one, 22s. Take care. Bye for now.